Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now, today we're going to go over the wave modifier. We're just going to play it around with it, and I'll show you some stuff. Um, don't forget to go to form.nistic.com um, for suggestions for tutorials, or to post questions, or just to show off your renders. Um, I'm also making a DVD that's coming up really soon, and so if you like these tutorials, you should, should check them out. The first one that's going to be coming out real soon here is how to make a character in Blender. And so it's 20 bucks, and so if you're interested, uh, you should just send me a private message on Nistic, form.nistic.com, or YouTube, um, just letting me know you're interested. Um, basically, it's just like these tutorials, but on steroids, and a lot longer. It's going to be about two to three hours. So, let's get started on our tutorial. So first, uh, we're going to start uh, with our default cube here. And we're just going to go down to the bottom right and hit Add Modifier. So, we have a list of several things here, armature, array, boolean, build, cast, such and such and such and such. And we'll probably uh, get into these in different tutorials. But what we want to go over today is wave. So go ahead and click wave, which is at, up at the top of the list. And as you can see down here, a bunch of options appear, and they sort of get cut off here. So what I'm going to do um, is kind of make it a little bit bigger so we can see all our options here. So you just do, in the middle of this little bar right here, just move it down, just so you can see everything. That's what we're trying to do. Now we're going to collapse that, and we're just simply going to add an array. And we're going to start out by hitting um, Alt here left mouse button, kind of get a side view so we can see this better. And then I'll plus shift to just kind of drag it over so we can all see this a little bit better. Um, right now, the array count is 2. Now, if you really don't know what I'm doing here with arrays, I suggest you ch check out the array tutorial on YouTube. Just, I guess, go to YouTube and type in Super 3 Boy Array Tutorial or something or another, and that should appear. So, you just uh, change the count to 5, and there will be 5 uh, little mirror cubes of this one right here. And we just want the offset to be 1. So that's good for now. Hit apply. Modifiers not first. We don't care. Just hit OK. And then we're going to make our uh, little wave modifier. We're going to uncollapse it by clicking that little arrow right there. So now if we have hit Alt A, which starts the animation. You can see here it's like kind of bumping up and down. Kind of doesn't look like a wave at the moment. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to slow uh, this down. It's way too fast. So right now the speed is at 0.5. So let's go and just put that at 0.1. Something a little bit slower. So you click on it, type in 0 0.1, hit enter, and that's it. And we can make these a little higher, and the width apart from them uh, a little wider. So when we hit A, sort of, see it's just kind of going up there. Looks a little weird. Um, that's because there's only a limited amount of faces. Now this is just a cube each. So if we hit Escape, um, we can get out of uh, the animation. And then we're going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. And we're simply going to subdivide by pressing W, subdivide, W, subdivide, W, subdivide. That's just about good enough. Hit tab. And as you can see, we can kind of see a little bump right there. Um, that's our little wave. So we're going to hit Alt A. Now it looks a little bit more like a wave. Um, looks a lot better than those little cubes there. So, as you can see, uh, once it hits uh, 250 frames, which is a cap for our animation, it just kind of stops. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and stop that by hitting Escape. 
And let's make this a little bit better by hitting set smooth down here in the bottom left corner. And it makes it a little bit better, but you can see the separation um, from the different cues. So, I mean, that is a bit of a problem. So maybe we'll just hit escape and hit set solid. Maybe try dividing, subdividing that one more time. Just make it look a little bit better. And then we'll have our wave. Goes off, wave. So this would be perfect if you're trying to do like a kind of beach. Or trying to animate some water or such. You can just use this wave modifier. And it will simply just give you this kind of uh, wave in whatever object you're using. So let's try zooming out with Alt and Control, and then clicking left mouse button and dragging in the Size tool, hitting the Y to expand it on the Y axis, and let's just make this five and hit Enter. And so now when you hit Alt A, get a much bigger wave, more like something you would see. Uh, at a beach so I'm gonna just go ahead and make this even bigger so uh, expand it on the x-axis by 2 and make it bigger on the y-axis by 2 as well so as you can see it's a really big wave now so this is basically just the basics of uh, using waves in blender and I'm going to render this off uh, so you can actually uh, see what it looks like before we end this tutorial. So next space to stop stop the uh, animation at the current frame which is 189 and I'm going to hit view camera make sure that's a, a good view there uh, I think we should move the camera back by selecting with the right mouse button moving it back a bit so we can see everything here now and then we'll just hit the render button and uh, see how it turns out. Okay, you can kind of see the little bump there. Of course, these are little sides to the cube. I mean, it doesn't look completely realistic. Uh, but you're going to have to add materials and probably do some more subdividing. And, I mean, you could see the uh, little... Uh, little lines between the cubes when we hit set smooth but I mean I guess it makes it a little bit better so I just hit set smooth and again and else than it is time. so here you could just go into materials and if you look at the uh, glass tutorial uh, that came right before this one um, you can see you can make it kind of a watery effect um, and kind of make it transparent uh, using that tutorial and you can just hit uh, the render animation button uh, which is down in here it's F10 and you click this button and it will take a while um, just letting you know it will take a long time to render uh, these 250 frames that we have by default but um, you should get a nice little result afterwards so that's the end of this tutorial, and I hope you uh, learned a little bit about using the wave modifier in Blender. So, um, if you have not already, uh, I it would be a good idea to subscribe with that big orange button up there if you're on YouTube. And if you haven't checked out uh, form.nistic.com, you should. So, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. This is Super 3 Boy signing out.